Okay, let's see. For you guys who have these old uh, Phyllis Shave um, models, it's kind of hard to get uh, shaving heads. So I'm going to show you how to do it real quick uh, with um, a replacement that supposedly works for the uh, PTAT7XX 7 series which I thought this was a 7, ser 7 series because it's 755 but it isn't um, so you can make these work series 5000, 6000 um, the SH50 I guess is what it says here okay you take it apart this way you just click it off now inside there's this little plastic wheel just turn it a bit to unlock it and the whole assembly comes out and then to take the heads out that's real easy you just push them out this way very gently and then the heads come out and then these are the uh, shavers they say you can sharpen them on a really flat surface like a mirror with some polish metal polish but uh, I'll save that for another day okay so let's take these off so I can show you why the new ones which are these won't fit on these I've already ground uh, grinded off the tab this little tab here, let me see if I can show you. This little tab here is what it has one here, and it had one here, but I already ground that off. Uh, what happens is that little tab, as since you could only put it in this way, the tabs rest on the outside. So what happens? That this is the position and as you can see the tab hits the housing and will not let the head come up into its position so all you have to do is take um, a grinder and very carefully see if it shows here just take off yeah very little bit okay you don't need to take much off just a little bit as you can see I've taken off just a little bit and uh, now when you put it in here you can see it sits flush and the head comes to its position so now you can actually use these heads originally what I did to make it work was I took the the new blades and put them in the uh, in the old uh, housings but uh, which works fine um, they're so worn down that you you get a super close shave <laughs> um, but I wanted to do it right so I wanted to use the house the new housings that come with these uh, blades so now Let's see, I have uh, ground the three tabs off, the two tabs on the three heads, I mean, and um, I place them in here the same way they come out. Now, to put them in, uh, it doesn't, I don't think it matters, you just, which position, you just kind of slide them in really carefully, and uh, it kind of rotates and hangs up on there, so it's, it's probably the correct position. Um, see, 
the head is seems to work so that might, that's the right position although I think I'm going to take off just a bit more on this one side here. Okay, that's the idea. You take those um, little wings off. This is the new head. New blades. Get the housing. And um, and let's see, yeah, okay, let's see if, if it's okay, yeah, now the head is, uh, it's in its place, so I'm going to go ahead and um, mount the, all of them, there, Okay. Perfect. Perfect. The little plastic piece here, not you, you push down and and, uh, and you turn it, and it locks it in place so it doesn't come off. Supposedly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's just to hold on temporarily. And now, there you go. Installed. Okay. So that's it. Actually, you can make uh, these work because this is a very old shaver. So that's my dad's. He gave it to me many years ago, and uh, made in Germany. It's a good shaver. It's got a lot of power. So I don't want to throw it away. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Have uh, a nice one. And let me stop this thing.